That's right, Ashley. And that celebration ended just a few moments ago. And we're told that this is the sixth Safe Streets site to achieve a similar milestone. And now the work continues to sustain it all. To know what comes next, right? Just as everybody deserves flowers, everybody has more work to do. Definitely include our site. For Brooklyn, it is a milestone and much more. Over 365 days without a homicide in the area served by Safe Streets staff members. The total number of actual days with no homicides, according to the city, 408. We are all in this together. This isn't just a Safe Streets accomplishment, it's a testament to Brooklyn's resilience and the power of community. This is a community that has been disinvested in, neglected and ignored for a long, long time. But together, collectively, we are saying enough is enough and Brooklyn can and will thrive. Today, there is a community gathering honoring the work of Safe Streets violence interrupters here in the Brooklyn community. They help reduce tensions and work to prevent gun violence and try to save lives. Both Mayor Brandon Scott and City Councilwoman Felicia Porter are praising the efforts of Safe Streets. Community involvement is, is key. Um, making sure that you not only have your city involvement, but also council's office as well. Uh, making sure that we're involved, making sure that we're having those very hard conversations, making sure that we know what's happening in the community. This is a significant celebration for an area where neighbors witnessed a devastating loss. Back on July 2nd, 2023, the Brooklyn Day Gathering turned into a mass shooting scene. 18-year-old Aliyah Gonzalez and 21-year-old Kylas Fagbemi were killed and 30 others were wounded. During this past summer, the city and community members gathered for a day of healing and to remember the victims of the mass shooting. Now today, they are celebrating efforts to try to keep Brooklyn peaceful and safe. Yet another signal that this work, getting ahead of violence before it takes place, building community and addressing the root causes of violent crime in our communities works and makes a big difference. Now, the Safe Chiefs workers say they do get involved to reduce conflicts. They say one important aspect of their work, the neighborhood knows them and they know the neighborhood. Reporting live from Brooklyn, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.